Right. Check mark, check mark.
Hold on. You don't, Cal, you don't want me to start without you? Okay. Um, oh, I have a minute left on the timer. So do you think maybe we should start early? Yeah. Yeah? You think so? Okay. That would be fine. Well, let's, okay, hold on. Let me see if I can turn my timer off here. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's do this. Oh, wait, now we only have 40 some seconds left. Why don't we just wait? Okay, we have 40. See the, see the timer it's counting down here? So when that, when that hits, what we'll do is we'll turn the music down. Turn the music down, turn the camera up, and then we'll go to say hi. Okay, I see that there's two folks already in hanging out in the chat room. They can't, I don't think they can see you yet. What they can see is on the screen. But are you ready? Yeah, okay, we got three, two, it's not going to be right away. I'm going to turn the music down. It says ding, music is down. Turn the music down, probably a little bit more than that. Okay, there we go. All right, three, two, one. Hello, good afternoon, friends. Calvin's got nail clippers. He's excited about that. We're excited about Monday. Come to Lish. Good morning. Good cold. <laughs> good morning. I'm going down the steps. <laughs> Decidedly not morning. I'm very fan. Hello, Lord Fellows. Hello to you, Betty. <laughs> Dreamer in training. Um, that's yeah. that's right. All right, you're going downstairs. Okay. Into the basement he goes. And you're actually going downstairs, yeah? Okay. Yeah. All right. Cal says bye. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. Whatever. Hello. Good day. Oh, my God. Calvin says it's evening. Good evening. It's evening for us. Some people are experiencing morning currently. Here. In my head, apparently it's morning. Uh, it is not morning. It's Monday. It is the dawning of the evening. Welcome in. Um, I'm doing something pretty simple today. Uh, gonna get out some burgers that I made. I don't even remember when ago. Um, and then I'm gonna get some vegetables and mash those. Carrots, potatoes, garlic, and just do like a mash mash. CC, CC Davenport, welcome in. Hello. Um, mash those. Um, might roast some garlic. Yeah, let's roast some garlic instead. That'll be way better. Um, and then I'm either going to do green beans or corn. Not sure which. Have both. Not sure which I'm feeling. Probably corn, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, so this is a family meal. So just like simple Monday. I'm not trying to complicate it. I'll probably end up complicating it enough as it is anyway, because there's like herbs and cheese and whatnot. So um, I'm going to get started with the couple things. Let me get the burgers out because I kind of want those to like thaw a little bit. They're Frozen solid. Um, these are something that at some point I'm definitely going to make on stream because they are a bulk prep that I do whenever I'm out of them. Um, and so that is, uh, these are these are definitely a favorite. Um, CC Davenport, what do you prefer to be, uh, how do you prefer I refer to you? I would say CC, I believe. I know I've seen your name in other uh, food and drink chats. But I see your name as it is on the screen and I don't say it out loud. Anyway, um, I'm going to get out burgers. So this is, uh, most call me CC. If you're comfortable with that, I will go with that too, because that's easy to see. See, um, okay, burgers are, I'm just going to thaw these on a plate because I, I'm going to do these in a cast iron pan in the oven. Um, but these are a, 
These are a recipe from a blog that I really enjoy uh, called Pinch of Yum, <laughs> uh, which is a funny name. I, I don't know. I like the name. It's a, a woman that I've been following on Instagram for forever, forever. Um, and she has these wild rice burgers that have, uh, how do I, how do I, it's not an unhealthy amount, but it's like an eye-opening amount of mayonnaise in them. And then they have mushrooms too. So there's um, cremini mushrooms in this that are uh, sliced up a whole bunch. Cremini mushrooms, wild rice, um, and, and a ton of mayonnaise. And these fry up really nice. Uh, they definitely don't fry up like burgers. You can't like anticipate that they're a burger, but they are uh, really, uh, really uh, an excellent, excellent flavor. Um, I like to do them in the cast iron pan, just like in the oven. And I'm recognizing now that I have, uh, I definitely bulk prep these because I have two in the freezer. I just opened the door and I was like, oh, I wonder if I could put the last ones in the door. Well, the last time I had that thought, I did. And I had room. And here they are. Uh, so these, yeah, I made these uh, in October of last year. So these are the last of them. I think I probably made like 40 of these last time I made these. Uh, and we only eat three at a time. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to make, I am going to make four of these though, because I really like these and I will, I would like to have another one of them later. Yeah. How's everybody doing this afternoon, evening? It's, uh, this week feels like it's about to go by in a hurry for me. I don't know if anybody's feeling that same vibe. But I'm already like my head is in Friday already. I'm already there, and not from a, not from a like I'm waiting to relax, but from a like I have stuff going on this coming weekend that I'm like planning and prepping for all week. So it's going to be like a busy one. Um, I'm just going to set these off to the side over there. There we go. I want to knock those off the counter, um, and then let me get my. Hot out. Uh, I'm going to make a, like I mentioned, uh, mashed stuff that is going to be at least potatoes. Uh, but I looked in there a couple minutes ago and was, or uh, not a couple minutes ago, looked in there yesterday and was like, oh, I don't have enough potatoes to do anything functional with. Cool. So I'm going to mash some carrots too. Uh, and garlic. I said, hold on, I said I wanted to roast garlic, and I'm not doing that, so let me do that before I even start with the uh, the carrots and other stuff, because that, that can just hang out in the oven for a long time, or it can hang out in the oven uh, until it's done, you know? Um, but I want to put that in there. I was thinking of like a mashed potato situation, and then uh, garlic, I was going to put the garlic in the water. I usually do that. I just like put it in there with the potatoes and it gets kind of nice and whatever. But I figured it might be nice to put it uh, and roast it and then dump that in for a better, a better flavor. It's only, it's only an extra step or two. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So garlic, garlic. Let's get, uh, let's get a full bulb here. Excellent. Plus a little more, a little more more garlic come on uh what else am i making if i make corn oh you know what i'm definitely gonna make corn i'm definitely gonna make corn um because i had the thought of slicing up the baguette pieces i have like a little bit of a baguette left from the french onion soup that i made last week and i'm gonna slice that up and i can use it to butter the corn with and that'll be nice so stop garlic do the garlic I have to keep telling myself. Uh, Y'all keep track of me over here. It's uh, I get off the rails sometimes, or I forget what I'm. I forget what the more important part of what I'm doing is. I should say. Um, I forget what your, what a good temperature for roasting garlic is, but we're gonna go with 
400. Seems about right. So this is pretty straightforward. I'm just cutting this bulb in half. Uh, I'm going to put it in a little packet of uh, paper, a paper packet first, and then wrap that whole thing in foil. I don't like cooking right in the foil. Uh, I like to put some sort of parchment liner between them. I've uh, I've heard I've heard that cooking direct in foil is not great. Uh, and you know what better time to start than now if you've been doing it your whole life. All right, this is probably good. I don't need to cut that other piece of garlic. I do need to get uh, pepper, salt, and pepper, olive oil on this guy. On this friend, as it were. Um, and then just get this little package in. And I'll forget about this until it's good and toasty. And then when I'm making the mashed potatoes later, I'll be like, oh yeah, the garlic. And it'll be done. That's that's how I plan on that's how I plan on it. So if anybody's here while I'm making potatoes, and you want to remind me, because you haven't seen this come back out of the oven yet. Go ahead and do that. I'm likely to remember it organically on my own, but no promises. Okay, garlic, salt, pepper, pack it in the oven. Okay. I'll remember that is in the oven when I go to put something else in there. What else have I been putting in there? The burgers. Right. Okay, let me give these potatoes a real quick scrub over here. Um, I think I might have scrubbed them already, but they feel a little bit gritty. So we're going to do it again. When I say already, I mean like two weeks ago when I bought them. Not like already today. I'm not that forgetful. Not yet. All right. Potatoes are good. So garlic is in. Um, now all I'm going to do is put the potatoes in a pot, uh, put some carrots in the pot, cover that with water, and get um, get that on the stove. And then I'm going to do a little bit of mise for everything else. Get the corn. I need a big pot of water for the corn too. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute here. I'm not going to cut the skins off of these potatoes because um, I don't want to. Uh, or I'm not going to peel them, or I should say. I don't. I like mashed potatoes with the skins on. Uh, I don't. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a skin on hater. I don't know if there's a reason to actually like take the skin off of here either. I don't think there is like a compelling health reason to not have it. Right? Like it seems. Uh, seems like a personal preference. My preference is to have it on there. So I'm just going to cut these up a little into big chunks here. Um, I'm going to mash this by hand, so I'm not going to be doing. Uh, I want these to. I don't want these to be too big. Okay, potatoes are in. Calvin, would you prefer to have green beans or corn tonight? Corn? Okay, it's been decided. Corn it is. Um, I need to get carrots out. Um, I bought carrots, yeah? My, yeah, okay. I need one of these... I need at least one of these for a recipe. So I think, what recipe do I need this for? For something this coming weekend. Um, I want, oh, I want it in pasta salad. No, sloppy, the sloppy Joe and the pasta salad. Okay, so sloppy Joe, pasta salad. Okay, I'm going to put these two carrots in with the mash, and then these guys will be 
for other stuff. Okay. I'm like, wait a second. Don't use all the carrots. I need, uh, I'm doing a cooking. Clady Whitey's, good afternoon. Got it that time. Or good evening. Calvin says it's evening now. So, uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, oh, you know what would go really well on this? I'm thinking on these, uh, wild rice burgers underneath of the cheese. I would say evening starts at 6 p.m. Well, we're not quite there, but like, Earlier uh, in this very same stream, I said good morning, so balance. Good day. Good day. Do you ever do that when you're walking by somebody on the street uh, and you're like, okay, morning, and then you're like, wait, no, it's two o'clock in the afternoon or whatever, and you're just like, why am I, why am I the most like embarrassing human right now? Just me? Okay. Uh, I'm going to save some a carrot chunk or two for Daisy. We'll see if she appears. <laughs> I said that, and then enter the dog. Here she comes. A silent nod when we make eye contact. I feel like I'm a tidy buddies. I feel like I'm a very vocal person, so I'm, I'm usually like, oh, what's up? What's up? If you ever walked by me on the street and we made eye contact, I'd probably be like, hey. Uh, yeah, and it gets me into trouble. Because then people mistake that for wanting to talk to them, which is not accurate most of the time. I am very friendly. It's a problem. Uh, the other day, fun, fun story. Uh, the other day, meaning probably, it might have been last week. Uh, might have been two weeks ago. We, we went to the farmer's market and Calvin goes, Calvin goes, can you, can you like not talk as much? And he meant like say hi and visit with people because I usually end up, uh, talking a lot. So he knows when I'm in public, I don't even want to be perceived. Yeah. A lot of times I don't either. Uh, especially, especially in the city, but a lot of times I'm feeling friendly. Let's see what Daisy's doing down here. Daisy, would you like a carrot? Would you like a carrot? Sit, sit. Good girl. That's a good dog. Daisy, would you like to do a trick? Daisy dog. Would you like to do a trick? Can you sit? Can you sit pretty? Pretty. Good girl. All right. That was a that was a that was a good sit pretty. I work in retail and get in the habit of saying good morning. Yeah. And afternoon. Yeah, Cece, that's what I'm saying. I yeah, I'll like I'll I'll be out on the street and I'll be like in the afternoon, I'll be like, hey, good morning. Ready? All right, I'm gonna do go one more, one more, one more carrot just because. There you go, good girl. All right, you gonna hang out for a second or no? She's hanging out for just a second. She is a pretty dog. She's gonna be ten. Ten this year. Oh, you're going to South Street this evening? Nice, nice. Any uh, any reason? show or something down that way i feel like uh monday's monday's probably a good night to be down there i bet it's not super busy have fun the tla nice i love the tla it was uh it's always been a nice little venue um all right water on these things cool have fun have fun i hope you enjoy i hope you enjoy enjoy the show it's uh it's definitely a good night good night to be out in the city it's probably like i said it's probably pretty slow um while i'm in here no i don't need cheese just here. good to know what i've got okay 
<laughs> get a slice from Lorenzo's. Oh my gosh. That for real, that is definitely a, uh, a time honored tradition. Daisy, are you just wondering now? What are you up to? Yeah. Can you move out from being underfoot? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, yeah, the TLA, I remember going to the, I always, always used to stop at Lorenzo's after the TLA. There's a nice, um, place to get Cotti rolls, Cotti rolls on South Street, uh, Spice End, that I really like too. Um, for like after show, after show types of foods, I would say. All right, let's get that up. Uh, let's get this on this stove. It's supposed to start raining at like seven. Yeah, are you are you taking public? Are you taking transit down that way? Hopefully, hopefully it holds off for you. I know it was. I feel like uh, I feel like we're hit, getting all the weather in the past past two days. We made the uh, decision yesterday. We were going to go to the the mushroom festival, the Kennett Square Mushroom Festival yesterday and made the decision we went on Saturday instead. Speaking of going out anywhere. Um nice. Enjoy the show though. Um all right, what am I doing here? I need to roast the garlic, which I'm currently doing. Um cheeses, baguettes, let's do the corn. Let me prep the corn next. Corn is right. Uh, I got this out. This is that onion jam that I made with the French onion uh, stream last a week or two ago. I decided I'm going to put this on, on, on top of the burger, but like under the cheese. So I'm going to melt some cheese on top of it and put onion jam under it. Okay. Um, I need corn here. So we're going to eat one, two. He's going to eat two. I'm going to eat two. Two, three, four, and then let me make. Let me get two more. Let me get two more out. Those are corns are good lunchbox items too, like a cold ear of cooked corn. Cold ear of cooked corn. That feels like a tongue twister. Um, Callie, would you mind turning the your iPad down just a touch, please? <laughs> what? Would you mind turning your iPad down just a touch, please? Thank you. He's down there with uh, Stampy Cat. Perfect. Yeah, that is good. Um, yeah, he's down there watching Stampy Cat. Stampy Cat being... I don't know if Stampy Cat does Twitch. I don't think so. I think they're, I think he just does YouTube. It's a fun, it's a fun, fun streamer. I, I guess it's streaming. I don't really know. Uh, the broadcast that he does is fun. The, the videos. This uh, this year, corn had had, maybe still has some type of little bugs in it. Cool. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. We just cut that off. Um. Yeah, I'm kind of in a. This week is weird because as I was like meal planning, I've got a bunch of stuff extra stuff in the fridge because we're going to be camping this weekend so i'm going to be doing a bunch of food for that and i was like i'm trying to think like when i was doing meal planning this week i'm like what am i using for camping like what do i need what do i have to not plan for they're all very confusing so i hope i hope i hope i got it right <laughs> and i don't end up on thursday like oh i forgot that i was going to put this in that thing Oh well, we'll see. We'll see. Does this week feel does this week feel like it's gonna go in a hurry to anyone else? Or is anybody feeling like it's gonna be just like the slowest week ever? Said a minute ago. I feel like it's gonna be Friday, like tomorrow. One of those like I've got a lot of stuff to do to get to the weekend and some of it personal, some of it not. Some of it professional, I guess I should say. Um, 
but yeah, just like a lot of camping, a lot of, a lot of camping stuff. George, how are you? Um, this particular camp out, I'm, I'm a little stressed about because this is going to be with, uh, five, five other families. Uh, George, how, how are you this afternoon? Good to see you. Um, the, yeah, this camp is going to be with five, yeah, five other families. So eight kids, seven adults. Um, and I'm planning it, which is fun. That is like in my wheelhouse is like event planning, that kind of thing. Uh, event planning, like group, group, group organization, for lack of a better term. But I feel like I'm also cooking for it. So it's Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday are going to be prep days, and I'm going to be stressed about it, which is fine. It's an it's an it's a nice kind of stress. It's kind of like catering, but you know, nobody's paying me for it. I hope they're paying something for it. I need to build them on Venmo, but different different issue different issue okay oh that is is that alive no that one's dead got one of these old corn worms came across in here let's see that that's gonna that's not gonna focus is it maybe these little these guys are fun this one's uh this one's not alive anymore <clears throat> oh well sorry little bug Man, it's funny that this is part of why I like going to the farmer's market. Realist, like, really, is that you know when you get corn, it's like still in the ear, and it's got sometimes it's got bugs in it. Like you would get, you know, it's one of the things that uh, with Calvin, like talking to him about food. Like we don't make a big deal out of like stuff like that. Like, oh yeah, corn has bugs. There it is. There's the bug that the corn has in it. You can still eat it. It's fine. Like not making a big deal out of it. That type of thing. Excellent. George, this is wife's out of town, daddy and Annie week. I love it. I love it. You got to lean into it, right? There's no other way. No other way but through. Sounds great, actually. What a what a really what a really nice opportunity too. How often do you get that type of one-on-one -on -one time? That's amazing. <laughs> That's really that's really cool. Do you have anything? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, do you do you have anything exciting lined up? I'm cu I'm I'm curious. Now, George, remind me your your daughter is is how how old? Or what is or, is your daughter in in grade school yet? I know they are. Uh, our kids are roughly the same age. Um, I am supposed to get. Okay, cool. There it is. There's a a friend of ours sent uh, sent some cake to our house, like a slice of cake from Uber Eats, which is pretty fun. Callie, that that uh, our door is gonna ten minutes for the door. Okay. Just, just a heads up. Uh, so a friend of ours sent a slice of cake or two slices of cake to Calvin because they thought his birthday was today, September twelfth. Uh, it is August twelfth, which is fine. Um, and and she was she was very worried and like, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and I was like, yeah, it's totally cool. Like he's getting a slice of cake randomly, like on a Monday. He's gonna be stoked. Six and ten. Okay. 
Yeah. So my, my son is kind of uh, just turned seven, speaking of birthdays, in August. So uh, I, I, I feel you. That's, uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of time. Uh, I, hope, I, I hope you have a good one, though. I, like I said, I feel like that sounds like a really good opportunity to like to get that one to get like good one on one time, you know, uh, or at least two on one, or at least two on one. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I'm describing an episode of like The Bachelor or The Bachelorette where they're like, they're like I don't I don't ever get the one on ones. Like I don't get the one on one time. It's always a group thing. I feel like you're like you're getting the one on one now. Sorry for the bachelorette reference. Speaking of wheelhouses, um, I'm just filling up a uh, pot with water for some corn from my corn here, um, and then we'll move on to on to the next. I need to actually let me just move these off to the side because I'll need that water to come up to boil first. Um, so I may. Back to the back to the uh, the cake situation I was just describing. I may need to go down to the door for just a second here in a, in a minute. So just a heads up. Um, okay, Let me move my um, let me use this cast iron, this big cast iron pan for um, my burgers, rice burgers. So water for the corn is full up. So let's get that, let's get that a boil. Uh, my potatoes are almost boiling, so I'm going to throw some salt in that water uh, and get, yeah, just get those a little salty. Um, and while I'm in here, what else can I, what else am I going to need in here? Old Bay, obviously. The drill sergeant. Oh my gosh. Well. Yeah, that's uh you're like you're you're when you got both of them at once, it's like they can play off of each other and that's no that's no good. You gotta you gotta have an effective an effective defense. <laughs> I love it. We uh we usually I take bed I take morning because I'm um yeah, I just I take morning here, but we switch bedtimes like we have like a hard switch. Like, whose turn is it? It's either mine or my partner's. Uh, like, very binary. Like, it was, it was uh, her turn last night. So, like, definitely my turn tonight. She can bank on it, um, and vice versa, which is nice. Um, definitely Old Bay. Um, thinking about for um, like potato carrot mixture. Uh, I'm gonna put cheese in there, sour cream, probably some butter. Um, herbs. These are going to be super simple. This is just like boiled and boiled, set, set and forgotten about. Um, let me put this in the sink because otherwise I'll forget to save some of that water. Um, and then I'm going to cut some herbs up here real quick. Um, Man, it's a long. That was a long week. Happy Monday, George. <laughs> um. Okay. Just clearing up a little bit. Okay. Uh, herbs. Let's prep some herbs here. That's next. Herbs. I know I need. I'm gonna use this baguette. I'm gonna also need some butter. Uh, for. Butter for whatever. Butter for a lot of things. Okay. Um, let's get out two sticks of butter because this can just soften and whatever. Um, who's lurking? Excellent. You're, you're here hanging out however you work. However works. That works for me. <laughs> a new slow cooker. So you can't complain. Yeah. Uh, that's a heck of a long time. What what so did you get did you get the old one new? 
and it lasted 20 or was that like an acquisition that then you had for 20 that's a nice little, that's a nice amount of time for any kind of appliance we were talking the other day about fri- like refrigerators and and all and like appliances like same thing like same exact thing it's got the slow cooker with just the heating element probably still works um okay i'm going to get some dill for these potatoes some thyme and yeah dill thyme and maybe a little bit of nah maybe a little bit of nah uh what is it what else is in it what is this Parsley, a little bit of parsley. Now, I know I need parsley for some various salads this week, so I'm just going to use some of this. I got two things of it, so this will be fine. These are going to be like herb, herb heavy mashed potatoes, mashed uh, vegetables, I should say. Um, yeah, a, a dorm, a, a dorm slow cooker. I would say that I would say that you have put it, it has put in its work. It has it has put in its work. Did you find it? Have you made any like inroads on finding on sourcing like a good a good replacement? I feel like I feel like you're you're right to be thorough and slow about like not thorough not not in a negative way. You're right to be very intention about your your approach to that. It's such a like big thing. Um. It's yeah, it's such a like such a uh huge piece of appliance, you know. Knocking at you to get a plate. Plate of food or a hot plate. I um I have well it's my slow cooker, you could Oh, heard George, that's funny. <laughs> that's excellent. I have I have a newer slow cooker uh, that I got for because of the volume, like just the larger volume. But I have one that used to be my mom's. Uh, I don't remember why I acquired it or when, but I know that it's like probably about the same age that I am at this point. Um, yeah, that those that's like that's an awesome like that's an awesome way to be. I wish that I had done. Like in retrospect, if I'd have had like a slow cooker in the dorm, I probably would have uh I probably would have eaten a lot healthier. Frankly. Um you're, so, so, seems like seems like you were on top of at least at least one thing in college, which was cooking cooking for yourself. Mmm. My God, I remember we used to do this game. Uh, I lived in a, a house in uh, in college, and we would go to the grocery store and play the like we're gonna get groceries. Like we didn't really have much of a list of anything. It was like a lot of like frozen or like disparate stuff, you know, ready to eat foods and whatever. Uh, and it was just like who could get the closest to like fifty bucks or something. And we were shopping for like weeks worth of food. I definitely, I definitely remember that. Um, that's economical. A uh, a slow cooker is pretty economical because then you can like you can probably store the little thing in the fridge too. Um. Just take the whole pot and put it in the fridge. All right. It's time, time. We're in the zone. I'm feeling like dinner might be ready quicker today, which is actually kind of nice. TBH, as the kids say. Uh, and this, this one, this particular dinner will hold. Which is also nice. I'm not like going to be frantic about people coming upstairs and getting here, you know, getting up to, to eat. I'm not frying eggs today. Uh, yeah, no instant pot. Now the instant pot is definitely the thing. 
like you get you, you probably get your kid an instant pot and an air fryer and they're like the 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 gourmet of their dorm room or their dorm wing hall residence hall whatever they're lodging this is a, i don't i i have not used an, an air fryer and i i have not actually experienced an air fryer being used in real life do they have a smell do they have a like does it smell like fried food when you open it like i guess the angle i'm thinking of is like if you were to have one of those in a dorm room would you be uh would it would it be um like would it smell like would it be like awful um i have no idea i imagine a slow cooker would probably be pretty nice where's that the scent of fried food I feel like people would be more okay with uh in a slow cooker somehow i don't know yeah it's a pot microwave air fryer yeah i haven't i had a microwave in my in my dorm room both i lived in the dorms for i lived in dorms dormitories for two years in a, a double room both years uh and only had a microwave Um, it will smell, but not as much as deep frying. Okay. Thank you, Betty. Um, I've just never even been in the presence of one. Um, yeah. And that's, I, I think, is that, I don't remember, I probably, I don't know if I didn't have one because of just like, I didn't have one or if it wasn't allowed in uh, my dorm because because time has passed and I don't remember that detail. Um, but I wasn't really much of like, I wasn't really like cooking a lot back then uh, when I was 18. I was cooking a lot of real basic stuff at home. Mac and cheese, hot dogs, like not not a lot. I didn't really do much cooking when I was a kid. At home, I cooked uh i cooked a lot i was in uh i was in scouts when i was a kid uh boy scouts and i cooked a lot like camping so i, I was good with like campfire stuff but not like at home um a toaster oven with an air fryer function and an instant pot and a microwave those would be great yeah the toaster oven such an underrated thing i don't have i have one uh but i don't use it it's it's like weird and old, and the handle's broken, so it, you have to burn yourself getting it out. Um, but I do love them. Um, I feel like now, like a little induction, like a hot, like an induction burner would be perfect too. Although those probably are, I'm sure, not allowed. Um, dorm room pantry and small fridge was a month supply of ramen noodles, microwave popcorn, Nutri-Game bars, and beer. Yup. I had macaroni and cheese. Boxes and boxes and boxes of mac and cheese. Definitely remember that. Okay. Um, getting my potato, potato stuff ready here. Um, I want to put some sour cream and butter, herbs, and cheese. The Breville. Okay, so you've got like the countertop with the the thing. I, I like. I want a new one. I have like I have one, uh, and I really looked around for the handle. The handle. My problem is the handle broke off of it, and it's a glass front one, and I can't open it. Like you literally can't open it. Uh, and there is. Um, no replacing it. Like I just, I've looked and you just like can't. It's nowhere. Okay, I've got a little bit of some type of cheese in here, uh, on TBD. And then let's see, rice burger can either have smoked cheddar, sharp cheddar, gouda, or Colby. I'm thinking gouda might be my my move here. Um. Like little mini cheesecakes, huh? 
something like that, or like full size ones. Um, I would cram a whole chicken, and that's and that and that is why perhaps they're not allowed in some dorms. <laughs> An illustrative example. Um, I also wanted uh, sour cream. That's what I wanted. But we're not there yet. These potatoes are just boiling. Okay. So these are good at, they're at a boil now, which is fantastic. That's what we want. Um, a stream, seen a few streamers with that nice Brevo oven. Um, yeah, I don't, I've never priced out a new one. Honestly, I went looking for the handle of mine on the internet, uh, could not find it and just like gave up. A full size cheesecake. Holy shit. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's great for when you want to. Yeah, that's great. I mean, it's obviously it's great to have like a small oven like that, like that can do something at, like that can get up to that temp and sustain it like that. I'm slowly coming around to one because I would like Calvin to be able to use a use that. Um, I would like Calvin to be able to branch out a little bit more into like getting himself stuff out of the fridge. Um, and I don't particularly want him to turn on like the full oven. So, um, Audrey has one and I think Canara, but the price is, the price is a lot. Yes. That is, that is, uh, that is a lot to pay for an appliance. Um, that I don't, an appliance that to date, I, I have not had an actual need for. It's just like a little much, you know? Yes. Gotta, gotta, gotta know the person who cooks. That's a good point. That's a really good point. And moving forward, that will probably be, be even, those just like become increasingly true. Um, I'm looking for my single use cheese slicer. This is the one. Um, yeah, but that's what I was thinking about. Like, yeah, I just, you know, I don't want him turning the full oven on. I don't like it. It's hot. It doesn't turn off on its own. It's got a big front to it. Like, it's just hard to operate. And for stuff like that, like, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not worried about, I'm not, I wouldn't be worried about him using that. For that same reason of like it not getting as hot and many, many others. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to turning on the oven. Yeah, I definitely do that when it's like winter here. I not I won't open the oven, but like after the oven's been on, I'll leave it open into the room. I love doing that. It, it always feels so toasty. Um, let me check on these guys. These are not anywhere near done yet. I should have put the carrots in first. Um, they are going to cook slower than the potatoes, and the potatoes are going to get really soft, but that doesn't matter. Okay, there's a 30-second ad starting in two. One. It says starting soon. If you're not a sub, you're going to get an ad. Uh, sorry about that. Exclamation point ad in the chat, as always, if you'd like to know more about ads on this channel. Um, this, speaking of like kitchen tools and appliances, this thing, if I hold it in front of my shirt, it's invisible. This thing, this, uh, cheese slicer, right? Do y'all have one of these? Does anybody else like grow up with one of these in their house? I did. And I didn't have one for a long time. And now I'm like, uh, I finally just got one the other day. I saw it in the grocery store randomly and was like, I remember that from my childhood. I liked that. I'm going to use that again. It was an impulse purchase for sure. Okay, so this all, all this cheese is, uh, I'm going to melt this on top of the burger and then I'm going to shred that. Actually, now let me get, let me sl just slice this like it is because I'm going to throw this on top of the burger. I was going to put some shredded cheese on it, but I'll just throw two slices on each burger and that'll be fine too. 
I've still got this other little shredded cheese here. I'm just winging it today, y'all. Sorry if I'm talking to myself. Um, I'm also waiting for my door, someone to knock on my door, and for uh, the dog to go crazy. It's going to happen any moment. I can just feel it. Something in the air. Let me check. It, uh, when she sent it. Oh, Callie, can you check the door, please? I think they just left it there. Cool. Um, there might be something on the door for you. Mind, it's food. All right. It's nice to have a little helper. It is really nice to have a little helper. A willing one. Especially, well, he knows what, what's at the door is for him. So that's uh, exceedingly helpful as well. The time that was in that little container is no bueno. Not here yet, it says. Uh, okay. Says it's supposed to have arrived. I don't know. Maybe they got our address. Maybe. I hope they didn't get our address wrong. Unclear. I don't know. Will you check again in a minute? It might have just, it's one of those, it's through Uber Eats. Who knows? Who knows? <sighs> Maybe someone took uh, a thing of cake off of our step. Wouldn't that be like the most mean thing to do? That would be really mean. Um, okay. Rice burgers. Oh, yeah. Rice burgers are good and thawed. Daisy just, now Daisy's gone crazy. And I'm distracted. Happy Monday. How's your Monday? I hope it's well. Um, okay. Garlic's been in there for what? A little less than an hour. Um, water's almost ready for corn. Potatoes are almost ready. And what else? Oh, I wanted to get a little bit of gravy. I saw, I was cleaning out my freezer um, earlier, and I saw that I have uh, four, five little gravy cubes left. So I'm going to thaw those and I'm going to eat those as a, maybe as a little side. On the potatoes, I don't really know how much is here, so I might take these, uh, mix in a little bit of something else, maybe like some heavy cream or something. Uh, depends how, depends how much this ends up being. This is not a lot. These are just like little gravy cubes that I froze. I'm just gonna sit those just on the back of the stove because that is uh, super warm right now. Um, and I'm checking these carrots. So these are all, these are going to need another, another like five or six minutes, I think. I didn't time these, but, um, they're looking, they're looking good. I just mashed up one of them and it's like almost there. Um, so I'm at an impasse, which is actually kind of nice. Um, Am I? Can I get anything else out? So I want some sour cream. Oh, let me cut this. Let me cut this uh, this baguette here. So I'm not going to really use this baguette for much. Um, but I don't have any bread in the house except this. Um, so I'm going to use this for the corn uh, to put butter on, like a little piece of butter on a piece of baguette that's uh always a favorite not not that not the baguette part I usually just use a piece of like white bread <laughs> this is just fancy um 
How many ears of corn did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I make? I didn't make them. I, uh, did I unwrap? Peel? Shock. That's the word I'm looking for. How many ears of corn did I shock? How often do you use that word, really? Um, okay, these are these are good to go. And anything else? No. Wow. Cool. Um, garlic. Let me check that garlic. That is an undetermined uh, has been in there an undetermined amount of time at this point. So um sm smelled really good. I mean this is probably good as it is, but um, I may want this to roast slightly longer. We'll see. Um, yeah, I'm going to put this in. Am I? No, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good right there as it is. It's very... Uh, it's very blurry, but I assure you that little white dot there is hot. It's steamy. Is uh is good. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I don't need to belabor that point any farther. The garlic gets tasty. It's good. Okay. Um. Check these carrots again. They were almost there. So I'm just checking like the biggest, the biggest ones. And just giving them a little mash. The potatoes are good. Yeah, I would say that these are good enough, are cooked enough. Yeah, those are cooked enough. They don't need to be, um, they don't need to be falling apart. So I'm going to dump this, but first I'm going to get a thing to put a little bit of the potato water in. Just in case I want, uh, I want that to like change the texture or something. Um, so let's get a little potato, little potato water and dump the rest. And then we're just going to dump those right back into the pot. And this is what I'm, this is what I'm left with here. Uh, potato, carrot, melange. Uh, to which I'm going to add a bunch of different stuff and make mashed potatoes out of it. Um, where where is my there it is? There's I have two different drawers here. One of them is like mainly one use things. So I'm going to use this guy because it's fun. And how often do you get to use this? Right? It's like a branding iron. Uh, there's a 30 second ad starting momentarily, so be aware if you are not a subscriber, uh, you are going to see that. It's targeted just to you. It's just for you. I promise. I promise it's based on your demographic. Anyway, um, so for those of you who are hearing me right now, you're either here in the first 30 minutes of the broadcast and saw a pre-roll, or you're a subscriber, which is amazing, amazing, or you are a Twitch Turbo subscriber, which is also pretty cool. So thank y'all. If you can hear me, thank you. Okay. I am... Um, at the moment, I'm uh, I'm like a raccoon trying to get something out. It's very hot. I'm like trying to try not to burn myself, but trying to do it at the same time. 
just poor decision making all around. Um, Cal, can you check the door again, please? Thank you. Um, I'm going to be kind of disappointed if this thing doesn't actually arrive. It says it arrived. Nobody knocked. Definitely nobody knocked. Daisy would have been through the roof. She was down here. Okay. You know what? Actually, the back end of this fork works a lot better. This is like a little, uh, a little, um, what would you call that? Like an oyster knife almost? Yeah. That works beautifully. Okay, he's at the door. Verdict? Not there. Well, that's annoying. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is my potato water that I put over there. Thanks. Um, so I'm going to mash these and then we'll get to the, uh, we'll get the corn in. I'm going to mash these and then I'm gonna actually going to get the rice burgers in the oven because those will take a little while to cook. They're still frozen. Should do that now. Um, let me actually, yeah, pause. I'm going to, I'm going to do that now because if I don't, I'm going to end up like 25 minutes from now just standing here staring at something, and that's not good. I can use my time better. All right. Uh, I want to put a little olive oil in this pan. So this is just my big cast iron, John. Um, and these burgers, like I said, I made these back in October. Uh, of 2021, and they are, they were frozen. I got most of them, uh, I got them out a little earlier, and now I'm just going to put them in this pan and put them in here. So these are uh, wild rice burgers. They have, um, actually, maybe this is better. Yeah. They have uh w rice cremini mushrooms and then a large volume of mayonnaise <laughs> uh as i would describe them i made these in bulk last year uh in october i said so these are almost a year old which is per perhaps perhaps you find that gross or perhaps you don't Regardless, that is their status. I can't change it. I'm definitely going to eat them. Um, but they're real, they're real good. Uh, they're a lot hardier than I think. Uh, yeah, they're a lot hardier than, uh, than I thought they would be the first time I have them. Thanks, Grimdelish. I appreciate it. Appreciate you sharing your time as well. Um, yeah, that was what I do, what I did with them. I probably made like 40 of them at once. I'm going to, those are, those are something I actually want to, I'm not going to set a timer to count down. I'm going to set a count up timer and just check them when they're like 15, 20 minutes. Um, so I made them to freeze, you know, like I've got stuff in there that's older than them for sure. It's all good. Brandy Nan, hello. Happy Monday. Um, I, yeah, those, I do that too. I definitely just like, I make something in bulk. I, fr with the intention of freezing it. And then I like freeze it immediately. I put it on a sheet pan in this freezer and then I package it. Like when I make a quiche, I freeze it and then I, you know, fully wrap it. Uh, and then put it in, the uh the small upright freezer 
and it's fine. It's like, there's no, I mean, as long as that freezer stays on, it's fine. It's like fully sealed. It's not even, you know, I'll pull stuff out of there. It's not freezer burned or anything. Um, a vacuum sealer, I agree, would be amazing. Again, another appliance that I would absolutely, if I used, if I had one, I would use it. Like, I would use a vacuum sealer. Um, like, I would put corn in there. I would put, I just put a, ba I was packaged corn last weekend uh, and put it in a big Ziploc bag. Like, I would use a vacuum sealer for that. And it would be better. Um, mushrooms and rice burgers are new to me, but they're delicious. They are. I, uh, we've had, I say they are. I've had them. I've had them. I can vouch for them. Um, yes, three whole cows. That's, that's, sounds like you have a good amount of storage. I love that. Um, I've definitely, wait, I want some milk out of here. Um, you know what? No, I have, I have heavy cream in here that's been in here. This says, I have two things of heavy cream. Let me check the expirations on here. Uh, 930, 916. All right. 916 it is. We're just scooting it under the line. Um, I bought the, the chest freezer a while ago. Um, I, actually, I, I bought it, I think, before Calvin. Um, just because it was like, I was making, I forget exactly why. He might have just been born, actually. Um, and I might, it might have been because I was making a bunch of purees when he was little. And like, you can't really make, you, you got, you can make purees in batches. It's so much easier. And I was freezing them. Um, that's probably, probably the reason. I forget why I bought it, honestly, but it's one of those things that I'm so glad I did. Cause I'm like, oh, now I want to make like six gallons of chili. I can do that. All right. This is going well. I'm realizing that I put no salt in here yet. Uh, and these are definitely going to use some salt. Um, yeah, I've got my chest freezer downstairs just has a bunch of like random stuff in it right now. Um, I've been, I haven't added much new to it and I've been trying to use up what's in there very, very slowly. Um, the meatballs, yeah, meatballs for sure. Uh, there's always meatballs. Right now there's multiple chicken, uh, carcasses in there ready for stock. That's the, I think that's the, the most that's in there right now. Plus a bunch of like, uh, chicken legs and thighs. Um, the old Sears Den scratch. Who cares? Yeah. Who... Um, that, yeah, I mean, if it works, if Sears is RIP Sears, uh, if Sears, you know, appliances back in the day were reselling something and they said it was fine, it was probably fine. Like cosmetic stuff like that. Who cares? Um, there is a 30 second ad starting momentarily so strap in partners um, oh, that's fun I've still got the a nice little view of the stove just hanging out there um, alright this is mashed I'm going to add some dill Still a little time and parsley. So I think I think if you hit exclamation point menu, it says green beans, but uh, that is not what we're doing. I'm realizing Gwen uh, Gwen did that a second ago, and I don't recall if it said green beans or not. Okay, so this 
seems good. Let's check. Um, did I add butter to this yet? No, I didn't. All right. So it's definitely going to toss a big chunk of butter in there. Um, the butter is pretty melted, so I'm just going to go ahead and mash. Mash, 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 mash that up. I just said that in here. Uh, the streamer that Calvin's watching is says that, and he's talking about, I think, button mashing. Um, I'm not really sure. TBH. All right, this needs a little bit more. Need a little butter. I'm going to put a little bit more heavy cream in there. I didn't measure any of that, so tasty. Uh, and definitely, I'm just going to use the rest of that deal. Um, Velas, we were talking about the freezer situation. Uh, mine right now mainly has a lot of like bulk stuff. I have like a ton of chicken stock in there and a ton of stuff to make chicken stock. So it's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, some frozen pizzas, like, you know, big bag of fish sticks, I think. Some basics. Okay. Mashed potatoes seem good. Let's try again. Potatoes and carrots. Cool. Yeah, I'm just going to add the rest of the thyme in there. Um, the parsley doesn't need to go in. Um, I don't know what I'll use the parsley for. Nothing. That's what I'll use the parsley for. Um, now, I cut it. I'm just going to put that in too. Whatever. That's how we roll. Just add it in. It's not going to make it worse. It's probably not going to make it any better. That's my thought. Um, it will make it more herbaceous. And then I kind of want a little bit more cream in here. And then I think these will be done. Good. Okay. So with the burgers, what I'm going to do is cook those till they're through. And then I'm going to take them out and put um, some of that onion jam on them. And then put uh, cheese on top of that. And just uh, broil that really quickly. Okay. Exceptional. Mashed potatoes are... I think they're the best when you just, like, throw a bunch of stuff in them. You don't, you don't need to measure it out. Just, like, taste it. If it tastes good, you'll know. Um... So don't put anything interesting spice-wise in their mashed potatoes, like curry or um, turmeric or stuff like that. I have I have before. These are these are super basic, so I'm not gonna I'm not really messing with with what's going on here today. I am gonna put those back on the back of the stove though, um, and stir my gravy. So I tossed that gravy in here. It might be melted or thawed at this point. Probably not. No, not quite. So this is just some basic like gravy. I forget. This is from uh, American Thanksgiving. Possibly Christmas. I forget. It was one of those. It says it on the bag, and this is the last of it, and I just threw that out. So uh, we can't. No, I'm not creative enough. Fair enough. It's 
I was just thinking, like, I don't really follow a recipe for mashed potatoes, but then I also, like, if I was looking up, like, mashed potato recipes, I might find something that's fun and interesting and, like, more creative than what I do already. So, um, I don't know. That's where my head was at. Let me put this corn in. Um, no, let me check those burgers. Um, cause I, if they're thawed, the thing with the burgers is that they are, the rice is cooked. So they don't need to come up to, to a temp. They just need to be thawed completely through. Um, the rice is cooked. The mushrooms don't need to be cooked. They're fine. Uh, the mayonnaise is fine. Um, so there's nothing in there that, that has to hit a certain, you know, there's no food, there's no, uh, no danger there. Um, so once these are, once these are thawed, I'm going to flip them, uh, flip them so that they, they get cooked on both sides from the underside. Um, let's see. I doubt they're thawed yet. They've only been in there for 12 minutes and they were sitting on the counter, but not for that long. So let's give these a shot. Okay. Nope, they're thawed all the way through. Uh, yeah, they're thawed all the way through. What I'm also, I'm also going to turn my oven up to, uh, I'm going to turn my oven up to 475. Because what I really want is for these to like get hot and get a little crispy on the outside. So I may take these out of the oven and put them on the stove for that purpose um but let's see let's see if they're uh starting to sizzle i want to when i'm looking at them i want them to be sizzling around the outside around the edges um so i'll let that come to 450 475 um and if they are still not doing that then i'm going to take them out and put them on the stove because they're thawed all the way through so i don't need them to like cook any form uh, i just need them to come to like good texture while I'm doing that, let's toss these corns in to the water. Um, and corn's, corn's pretty easy. Once these go in, um, we'll put, let these boil, uh, boil back up. As soon as they hit boiling, you just pop the lid on them and turn the water off or turn the temperature off. Turn the heat off. Heat. Turn the heat off and they'll be fine again. Uh, and they'll be ready to go when you are. So corn's pretty easy. Again, none of this is none of this has a recipe. The burgers have a recipe, um, but I didn't make them here. So this is all just pretty straightforward. Um, if you're interested in the burger recipe, I did post it in Discord. Uh, the link to which you will find if you hit exclamation point social or Discord or menu or myriad other commands that also link back to it um if you're interested it is highly recommended so on top of the burgers uh, i'm going to put this uh onion jam that uh again it's from last week this held up really well so this is a um just like onion thick onion slurry uh which is still super good I'm not going to use this much past this week, so I'm going to use all of it tonight, probably. 30-second ad coming at you in a minute. In just a moment, just be aware. Um, exclamation point ad in the chat, if you're curious about ads and why I'm talking about them. All right, uh, so I don't need this water for my potatoes. So I'm going to dump that out. And corn's looking good. I'm going to toss a lid, find the lid, and then toss the lid on that momentarily. It's just about to boil again. Um, and then I think I am going to take the burgers out of the oven. Um, actually, no, let me just, let me wait. Let me wait. Let me have patience. They might be, they might be good. They might be fine. Um, Yeah, I usually cook them in the oven, um, but I never, I've never written down how long that, that is. So, 
Who knows? Uh, while I'm waiting for all that, let me slice up some butter pieces and put those on uh, the breads and get some plates out so we have something to eat off of. Uh, I didn't put any sour cream in the mashed potatoes, did I? No. I don't think I need to put any sour cream in the mashed potatoes. Do I? No, I do. Because I really, really like sour cream and mashed potatoes. So let's let's come back here. We're gonna sneaky. We're gonna sneaky, sneaky some uh, some sour cream in here. And then I think I need to heat these up a little bit more because I put a lot of cold stuff in here, and they're probably not as hot as uh, I would like them to be. Um, the reason that I want the sour cream, sour cream in there, uh, is because I like that I like that tanginess in a mashed potato. Um, I'm also going to put a little, just a very little bit of Cholula, just a little bit, um, because that'll add a little bit of heat to it, and uh, the color of the carrots will mask the red. Just a little bit. Um, I put cream cheese in before. Yeah, cream cheese would be tasty. I actually have cream cheese. I should have used that. Um, but we're not double dipping on the creamy cheeses. Betty, those are my favorite sour cream bottles. I was very reluctant to like own that fact. Uh, I got one. It was a replacement. Uh, because I didn't have the regular ones. Yeah, there's a little, just a little bit of tanginess. Um, I had a, it got as as a replacement to the regular ones, and now I'm like I'm completely sold. Um, why do you, why do you like them? Why are they your preference? I know exactly why they're mine. Um, hold on, my okay. I want to check. Uh, let me check my burgers because the oven just hit 10. All right. They are actually, you know what? Those are nice. They're sizzling around the outside. So I'm going to cut this butter. Um, I'm actually going to turn these up even more. Now that I see them sizzling, I'm going to hit my oven up to 500 and we're going to let those like cook because I want them to get like nice on the bottom. I may have to empty a little bit of oil out, but I think they'll be okay. Um, we get some plates as well. Uh, we need to use the big plates because we've got some big items here. The burgers are pretty substantially sized. Corn is long. Corn is full size. Um, they're nice for plating. Okay. It doesn't separate. Yeah. I like, um, that's, that's, that is a big piece of it. The separation, like when you stir them, like stir, you don't have to stir it. You can just kind of like mash it around. Don't have to dirty your spoon. I really like the fact that the only exposure to air is the valve. That it's just like this little uh, like resealable thing. And so like it doesn't, the, the, the air exposure in the bag itself is extremely limited and it doesn't go bad as quickly. Like this thing will last for a while. DJ Harley, hello. Good afternoon. Welcome in. We are cooking. We are cooking dinner here. Um, pause. Butter. Give this corn a little press down here. So this is just about to boil again. And once this boils, I'm going to set that to uh, turn that off. Um, Gwen, not too much longer now. Um, it does last long. Like the primary thing that I like about it is that I, I, yeah, cause it like it, it lasts, it's just better. Um, this is a useless piece of baguette. I didn't look at these when I cut them. It's not useless. It's useless for the purpose that I am ascribing to it, which is to hold butter. Uh, for spreading on ears of corn. Okay, 
plates, plates, plates. Let's get these 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 Johns out. A little my oven just hit 500 behind me. Those are my favorite pieces. These the are the ones with the holes for sure. I'm here, Cal. No, Calvin, I do not. Did you reach your limit? Okay, then then the limit has been reached. Um, these are nice. Why do you like these the most? It's a curious. That's curious. I um. Cal, what do you want? Okay, should be down in a few minutes. I also like the heels. I'm a weirdo. No, you're not. No, you're not. See, I saved this for myself. I saved this one. I'm going to dip this. I'm going to make, when this butter is all softened, I'm going to dip this in the butter. And I'm going to put a little bit of this onion jam on top of it. And I'm going to enjoy this. So no, you're not a weirdo. And now that I know these are a favorite, I'm going to try it on that one too. Anyway, corn done. Um, the pizza slice with the big air bubble. Yes. Do you eat the air bubble first? Just like just pull it up like a sheet being pulled off of a display. So good. Okay. Everybody has cheese or everybody has butter. Um, everybody will have corn. Everybody will have potato. Got my potatoes there. Um, I wanted to turn the potatoes on and heat them up just a little bit more. So I'm going to do that now. And then I'm going to, nice, totally. Uh, and then I'm going to finish the rice burgers in the, from the rice burgers from the oven. Uh, I'm going to turn this, these potatoes on, on the big burner here, just a very little bit. Let me see my, um, gravy that I have over here is not progressing as much as I wanted it, as much as I want it to sitting on the stove. So I'm afraid that I might have to, yeah, it's just still kind of cold. Um, when I get the burgers out to flip those, I might pop. No, the oven's at 500 degrees. I'm not popping this bowl in there. I'm just going to put these in the microwave because they're not, they're not cooling off fast enough, uh, or they're not, thawing fast enough yeah bowls hot on top frozen on bottom time for the microwave let's just do uh cook time one minute power level five okay um there is a 30 second ad that's coming at you at some point shortly shortly just be forewarned it's for you it's for you it's specifically meant for you um burgers no stir the potatoes okay i just want i want these to heat up but i don't want them to scorch on the bottom so i'm going to stir these a little bit I'm, honestly i'm pretty excited about these potatoes i uh I know that sounds silly, but every time I make mashed potatoes, they're slightly different, and it's like a different little adventure. Um, okay, coming into the coming into the end game here. Uh, end the end game. I really don't want this gravy to splatter and explode everywhere in the microwave. That would be. Unfortunate cook time 130 power level. Let's actually make that seven. That wasn't heating up fast enough. Um, okay, 
Burgers look to be coming along really well. I'm going to uh, take those out of the oven to flip uh, and do that on the counter. They're not like meat patties, so they come apart. They can come apart pretty easily, um, which if that happens, um, it happens. But I want to try to I want to try to be uh, cautious when I flip them. And I'm only flipping them once, so. Uh, I kind of want to let them be. It looks like they're sizzling on the bottom. So I'm just trying to let them go kind of as long as I can, as long as I can stand it. Yeah, they're starting to smell crispy, which is nice. Uh, and they've been in there now for 26 minutes, which is like, they're definitely thawed. Now they're like heating. Um, so I'm going to get those out and flip those in, uh, as soon as my gravy's done. Cause once the gravy's finished, I will put that on the, on the stove and it will stay warm there once it's already warm. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is, that has gone from frozen to extremely, extremely hot now. Perfect. Okay. And gravy still, still very good. Okay, let's give these taters a stir. These are almost warm. Um, I'm gonna turn the heat up on these and stir these for like stir these like constantly for just a second here, and then just pop the lid back on. Hmm. Taste that extra parsley. I'm glad I put that in. Really am. Okay. Good. Done. Okay. Uh, I use this spoon to serve it with. Perfect. Okay. Let's get the, um, burgers out and flip those. Good Lord. Those are really in there. Uh, all right. What do I want to use to flip those? Two spatulas because, as I said, they are slightly fragile. Okay. So these, these are looking great. Um, this is a, hold on, let me change, change the view. Um, these are very hot. The whole thing is sizzling. It's, uh, I moved, I don't know if anyone, if you noticed, but I moved the cheese was sitting right here. I thought it would be too close. So first I just want to check this guy. And yes, okay, so this is looking good on the back side. So I'm going to go ahead and just flip that and see how that kind of broke apart on me. Totally fine. Um, not totally fine. I'm a little annoyed, but it is fine. It'll still taste the same. Um, but what I am going to do is instead just flip this one like that kind of quickly. And so this is good. I now know what the bottoms look like. They're not quite as, um, round, crispy as I, uh, want them to be, but I'm only flipping them once. And these are not the bottoms that are going to be seen. This is going to have the cheese on it. So I'm not really worried about what this part looks like. All right, so of the four, two of them broke because of my technique, which is fine. Again, fine. These are going to have cheese on them, and that's going to cover a lot of a lot of ground. Okay, I think what I would like to do now 
instead of having these on the in the oven, I think I'm going to put them on the stove uh, and start just heating these from the bottom since they're cooked through. Uh, and then I'll put them back in the oven when I want the cheese to melt. Um, so we're going to move do the stove top shuffle here. And I'm going to turn these burgers on. And these are just going to go on to like four, five, five. And uh, go from there. So I want to give those maybe like five more minutes um, at a pretty pretty high heat. Uh, and then once that is, once those are good and crispy on the bottom, I'll get some, get some cheese on them. And, uh, we can all, we can all watch those together with that view. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, recap burgers here are wild rice burgers. They also have cremini mushrooms in them. Uh, and are, yeah, wild rice, community, community mushrooms, and a whole bunch of mayonnaise. The corn is just corn. It's shucked. And then I cooked it in water. And the potatoes are, uh, potatoes and carrots, roasted garlic, heavy cream, sour cream, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, herbs, those are ready to go. So now I'm just waiting on my burgers, um, which is great. It's a good place to be. It's where I want to be. Um, let me move this cheese back over here. So plates are out. We're in the time of the week where I have um, all of the favored forks are in the dishwasher. And the dishwasher has not been run. So, um, going to use the non-favorite forks. Do y'all have fav like favorite forks in your house? Is that just a me thing? But like you know the forks, right? The ones that are like the good ones. Maybe it's just me. Okay. Um, those can go over there. I'm only going to need one of these spatulas. Okay. Oof, these are popping. Popping, popping. That's good. We want that. Um, these are... Nice. They're giving up a lot. All that oil that's in there is mayonnaise. Just for like, for a point of reference on how, how, how kind of, how amazing for you these are. Okay. So these are, these are going, I'm going to, I would say like another, what did I say? Five minutes. That was a couple minutes ago. Well. Um, did I put that butter away? I did. I should have had that. Let me get that back out. I want, this is, this is the, like, the open butter. And we have butter for the corn. All right. There we go. Um, this week, so let me say a little, I guess, a little bit about what's happening, uh, for me this week. I'm going to be doing today, the stream today. Tomorrow, I don't think I'll be on. Uh, I'm not planning on it. I'd like to get ahead of camping prep um not food prep just like everything else um let's get chipped something is that chipping now i did damn it oh well um one second let me give these another shake these are looking good they're actually um starting to smoke a little bit which is awesome that's kind of what i want um, I want them to be a little bit burny. Burny like a burger. Anyway, um, this week. So I'm going to try to get ahead of like camping prep and uh, like gear tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I'm going to do dinner. Uh, I'm going to stream dinner. I got these nice 
uh, fish cakes from my fish vendor. So I'm going to do those plus uh, salad and uh, something else. I'm not sure what else. Um, maybe a mushroom, like my taki mushroom or something. Um, I, something I'm going to do something tomorrow night that I'm not going to stream and then something Wednesday. I'm not really sure which is which. Uh, and then Thursday night, I'm going to do uh, camping prep in the evening. Thursday's going to be a long one. It's back to school night. Uh, so I'll be at that and then come home from that and then just do like the rest of the camping prep, which is going to be um, two different breads, a couple cold salads, and uh, sloppy joe. So that's going to be that's going to be this week. And then Friday, we are out of here, out of here to go camping this weekend. One and a half bushels of lima beans Friday. That sounds uh, that sounds really relaxing, and also like your hands would just be like, uh, "I'm done." At the end of that, you said you were making sauce. Uh, that you were planning on doing those with a sauce. Yeah, is that still the move? I love I love beans. I haven't had like lima beans in a in a while. I can't even remember actually. I'm gonna check the. Oh, the handle of that thing is hot. AF. Check the bottom of those. All right, bottom of that is coming along well. So these burgers are good to get their good to get their cheese on them now. Um, let me do let me do this. Um, I want to put a little bit of this nine hours. That is a heck of a time. I'm going to put a little bit of, this is grated something or other. I, I want to say this is cheddar. Yep, cheddar. Okay, so this is some kind of cheddar. Um, towel. And then I want to put a little bit, this is that onion jam that I made. So I'm going to take this and just put this under like on here, kind of spread this out on top of this cheese. Uh, I'm going to put this on three of the four because I'm pretty sure that Gwen's not going to want this. Um, onion jam does not sound like a, a Gwen thing. And excellent. So we used, that was the last, the last of that onion jam from the French onion soup stream. And then it's going to throw everybody wants cheese on their burger. So this is a vegetarian meal today. Note, um, it is not a vegan meal at all in any capacity. Um, but it is vegetarian, unintentionally so. Just how, how it happened today. Callie, this is your 10. Um, Gwen, if you're listening and you can hear me, Gwen, this is your 10 minutes. One's in the chat if you can hear me. Um, still annoyed about that. Heard. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, still annoyed that I, I didn't see the thing come. Uh, or at least the thing that was supposed to arrive today did not. Annoying. Um, Callie, when you come up, will you check the front door one more time, please? Okay. All right, so I'm just going to toss that back in. Oh, maybe Gwen will check it. She's here now. I Yeah, there was supposed to be something delivered for, for Callie at 6, but it, it never materialized. Um, okay, so... Burgers are in the oven. We're just about ready to plate here. Uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit um, and get ready to get ready to go here. Um, going to leave the corn. No, nothing at the door. So annoying. Um, I shouldn't even have said anything because I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was coming or not. You know. Um, I'm going to get this pot over here. Let's just get everything, everything ready to, ready to grab and put on a plate here. So we got our corn. I've got a pot of 
mashed potatoes. Um, and then we'll have burgers. Burgers are good. They're just about finished. Just about finished here. Um, I don't need this lid because this was the onion jam too. Something is coming for Cal on Wednesday. Excellent. Thank you, Rainy Man. Um, I, yeah, everything else is good. Richard, hello. Good night. Good evening to you. How are you? Thanks for saying hi. Appreciate, appreciate you stopping in. Hope your, hope your night is going well. It's already tomorrow for you. Yes. Yes. Happy Tuesday. Uh, I'm doing really well. It's going to be a frantic, or it feels sort of like a start of a frantic week, um, but is not actually going to be frantic. I think it's just like a lot happening. Okay. Seven past midnight. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> okay. I actually want my trivet. I don't need my trivet under the corn. This counter can take a lot um, of heat as it is stone. Okay, let me get my burgers out of here and then we'll plate 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 these up. Okay, so these are looking great. Burgers, you can very clearly see where there is onion jam. It's like uh <laughs> uh there's a there's a nice like hump where the jam is. It's pretty funny. Okay. Um gonna get a plate together. Uh Callie, will you come clear the table, please? Yep. He's in the middle of a race, he says. Okay. Okay. All right, so everything is here. There's like barely any gravy, but like that's fine. I'm just gonna it's just gonna go on top. I don't need I don't need a ton of gravy. Um, so I'm gonna put together put together a plate here. Okay. Um, let's see. One of these, I'm going to put my plate together. Though I can really tell the ones that have the onion jam on them because they are, uh, there's a big bulge in the center. It's pretty funny. Um, okay. Burger. Should have put down like, some greens or something underneath of this, but I want those for a salad, so I'm not okay. Glad I glad I got through that decision internally. Uh, I'll give I'll set him up with a plate uh, when he's upstairs. I'm going to make my plate right now. Okay, I've got burger. This is a little bit of. Mashed potatoes in here is potatoes and carrots and garlic. So this is actually like a pretty hearty, hearty, hearty meal. Uh, it's also extremely monochromatic. So this meal is visually, visually unexciting. Uh, there's a 30 second ad starting momentarily. So let me throw this corn on the, on the plate and, uh, see y'all in just a few moments for those of you who are ad experiencers. Cool. Cool. Uh, for those of you who are hearing me, thanks. That means that you were either here in the beginning of the broadcast from the first 30 minutes that you are a subscriber to this channel or someone gifted you a sub, which is super cool. Or that you're a Twitch Turbo subscriber, which is also super cool. Slightly less helpful for streamers, but like, cool. Anyway, um, if you're hearing the sound of my voice, thanks. 
Okay, so this is my ex extremely visually not interesting plate. Uh, okay. Callie, can you come up and turn the light on for me, please? Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of gravy on my potatoes here. Calvin's going to come. Oh, that handle was hot. Holy shit, that was hot. Okay, Calvin's turned the light on. Don't look at me. The lighting is hideous and horrible. It's only for photography purposes. It'll be over soon, I promise. Try not to make the corn look phallic. Okay. Definitely always worried about the angle of the corn in my photos. Thanks, Cal. All right. I'm finished. Thank you. You can turn the light off. All right. This is good. Oh, don't turn the light on again. He's going to do it again. Go ahead. Oh, it's horrible. And it takes a second for the white balance. There we go. Cool, cool. All right. Callie, are you ready for a plate here? Yeah. He's ready for a plate, he says. Pause. Hot. Extremely hot. Heard? Hot. Okay. Thank you. Because this is visually unexciting. Visually unexciting? Yeah, I don't think this is super exciting. No, it's not as exciting as other meals. That's for darn sure. Um. Okay, Rainy Man, good helper. He is. Okay. Uh, and an ear of corn. And an ear of corn. All right, cow, cow. Come get you a plate. Come get you a plate. Have a seat. That's a plate for Calvin. And then, and then Gwen's plate is here. We get Gwen's plate together. Uh, and then we will find somewhere to go because we're going to sit down and eat. Um, yeah, we're going to sit down and eat and find somewhere. I did not see, I only saw a few people online earlier doing food and drink. So I'm hoping that we can still get in a food and we can head out to a food and drink location. Um, Rainy Nan says hello, Calvin, and to enjoy the dinner, everybody. Everybody. Okay. Gwen, plate. Fork. Okay. Everybody's eating. Let's try it. Let's let's try this. I'm gonna show you a little final little final plate view here as we're as we're wrapping up. So I'm as I said, kind of visually unappealing, right? Looks a little monochromatic and bland. But what we have is a wild rice burger. It has cremini mushrooms and mayonnaise in it with uh, cheese on top and a little bit of onion jam underneath of the cheese. The mashed potatoes are regular uh, like yellow potatoes with uh, an orange carrot and a white carrot in it that also has parsley, thyme, and some other herb I can't remember right now because Calvin keeps saying things, uh, which is fine. He keeps telling me it tastes good. Which, which we love to hear. Uh, and then the corn is just regular boiled corn with Old Bay on it. And we have a little uh, somewhere there. We have a uh, piece of bread. Butter for uh, corn, butter and corn, butter and purposes. Calvin says he knows the corn is good. There's Gwen. She's right behind me. Okay. Let's give this an actual honest to goodness chest. Potatoes are excellent. Really, very happy with how those turned out. Um, I'll show you a little cross section here. I don't know how uh, how well that'll translate, but if the if you can see, like the burger has a bit of a um, no, that's not a that's a terrible angle. You can't see anything. Let's do that angle. Uh, inside that burger, it definitely looks like a hamburger, kind of. Um, but it is rice all the way through. Uh, and it's pretty... Exactly what I wanted. Crispy on the bottom. Um, 
hot all the way through. Taffy, hello. I hope you feel better. This has been a while for you. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're turning a corner now. Um, cool, cool. Let's look and see who's online. This is this is uh, this is good. I'm really happy with. I'm happy with this dinner. This was uh, a pretty pretty easy one. Um, let's see who's online. Okay. Um, food and drink. Chef Nagin is online. Audrey's online. Audrey and Joyce is online. Audrey and Audrey and Joyce are the same thing. Mama Huevo is online. We love her. Dana's Kitchen has come online. Um, Tabate Cooking is online. Wow. Uh, lots of folks are lots of folks are online. Jen Pal's Kitchen is online. Cool. Lots of folks popped online since last I looked at this, which was right when I started streaming. So uh, if anybody has any strong opinions, um, let me know. But otherwise, I am probably inclined to go over and see, hmm, Mama Huevo, probably. Day four. Oof. I'm glad you got to cook today. It always feels nice. That's like one of the first things to thaw. Calvin, the first things to thaw after you're like coming out of feeling sick is like, I actually feel like I want to feed myself. Um, Calvin, <laughs> Calvin is over at the table uh, yelling Dana's Kitchen at me. He's not, he's not yelling. Uh, Dana's Kitchen is here though. And is online. So let's go see, let's go see Dana's Kitchen. We like them. Um, cool. So that's what that's what we'll get up to now. Excellent. Um, in chat here. There's a bunch of social media. Y'all can follow there. Like and follow. Uh <clears throat> whatever, whatever people say. Um, that's where else I live on the internet when I'm not here. Uh, which is most of the time. Um, Twitch is always a good, uh, not Twitch, Discord is a good place to post conversations. I look at Twitter a little bit. Um, Instagram, I will definitely be posting photos of everything. Always, always have for years. Anyway, let's start this raid. We'll say hi to Dana's Kitchen. Uh, appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all being here. Appreciate y'all hanging out today. Um, thanks as always for the time. And uh yeah, let's pop over and say hi to Dana's Kitchen. Thanks for